there was actually a member on our Verdict Plus community today that was asking whether you, Senator, are ever going to star in a movie or even make a cameo in a movie. I think they said, are you going to be a high-powered lawyer in one of these one of these crime movies? And I laughed when I saw that. I thought to myself, what could possibly trigger the libs more than conservative Tim Allen being in a movie? And Senator, I think the answer is you. Uh, I'll tell you right now, I'm not fighting Sylvester Stallone. And <laughs> Schwarzenegger would break me in half. So, but 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 I'm game. And 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 listen, if if Star Trek could have Stacey Abrams as as the president of Earth, uh, which which really was, I look, I I'm something of a Trekkie. I'm not a hardcore Trekkie, but I like Star Trek, and it really is just sad for them to be a, to be yet another woke mouth mouthpiece. It's one thing to take on issues; it's another thing to be just silly. It reminds me of, you know, Michael Jordan, Republicans buy sneakers too. You know, Republicans watch Star Trek too. And you start putting Stacey, Stacey Abrams there and, and suddenly I'm going to have to find something else to watch. I'll, I'll, I'll go back. I'll go back to, to original Star Trek. Um, James T. Kirk, by the way, was the best captain any ever anyway. So, so that, uh, uh, and you've never seen the internet get more upset when, than when I said, that James T. Kirk is a Republican and Admiral Picard uh, was a Democrat. And, and, and apparently lefties don't like it when you comment on their art. They believe they own it. Well, and now, Senator, not only will you be criticized by the president of the United States, not only will you be criticized by the president of Mexico, but you will be criticized by the president of the world on Star Trek. I have no doubt.